you can see these little intrigues going on. I think that's a general statement, but I also, as I was studying it this morning, I might have been speaking specifically about a particular situation. So if you've seen the Son of God movie, which in general, I cannot stand that movie. I absolutely hate it. But this is one of the things that I did like about this. They have a scene where Jesus is giving this parable and he is looking at Matthew, who is a tax collector. And it's this, this, um, I can't remember the beginning of it, but I think that the, the Pharisees going into this, the Pharisees were looking down on him because he was, you know, the tax collectors at the time were kind of sellouts. So they were in the employ of the Roman government who were the, who had subjugated the Jews. And so they were kind of seen as traitors and not only because they were working with the, the Romans, but because they actually did, you know, take more taxes than they should have. So they were hated for several reasons. I mean, they were like dirt. And, um, as I mentioned last week, you know, Matthew was this guy who, who wrote this incredible, incredible gospel. And he, I think even in this, in the group of the disciples, I think he probably was a little bit of an outsider that they probably still had that prejudice against him because you have to remember, you know, people, the apostles were people just like us. And we see some of their little drama in, you know, in the gospel accounts, like, you know, the arguing over who was going to be greatest and, you know, in the kingdom. And, um, you know, you can tell that there was, there was some, you know, Jesus was perfect. No one else around him was, but, I almost feel like this was specifically speaking about Matthew. And, um, as I was reading this, it, this is the, this is a description of the, that's on the beginning of the Wikipedia page. The parable of the Pharisee and the publican is a parable of Jesus that appears in the gospel of Luke in Luke 18, nine through 14, a self-righteous Pharisee obsessed by his own virtue is contrasted with a tax collector who humbly asks, God for mercy. And, you know, what came to my mind as I was reading this was Judas. And Judas actually was the son of a Pharisee. So Judas is there with this, this man that many believe to be the Messiah. And many believe that that kingdom of God was going to be essentially overthrowing the Roman government and being a physical kingdom. And he was following along. And as I said last, last week, you know, Matthew's job was dealing with money and they have Judas, Judas handling their money, who is stealing from them. And his father is a Pharisee, one of these self-righteous, right? And, um, he actually gave, um, the, the feast for Jesus where, uh, Mary anointed his feet. And so there's these, you can see these little intrigues going on and Jesus, I think, is number one. It's it's not just a rebuke to the Pharisees, but I think it's also a warning to Judas. He probably had his dad and you know other people in those circles talking in his ear, trash talking Jesus, and saying, "Oh, you know, he's just who is he? You know, around all these these scum. These you know, he has this, this tax collector as one of his followers." And this is a warning. This is a warning to, I think, specifically to Judas that he needed to check his heart and to humble himself and that these people who thought that they were so righteous really weren't pleasing to God.